Oh, hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show. Just taking a sip of my signature peach iced tea and tonic water. You know, Graham Stefan has his 20 cent iced coffee. I've got this. I think this is going to be my signature drink. And if you want a video on how to make it, leave a comment below. Well, I just kind of told you how to make it anyway. It's peach iced tea and tonic water. But anyway, whatever. Maybe you want a whole video on it. Let's get into this video though, and yes, you saw the title, I am indeed getting 13.5% cash back on my grocery spending, and you can too, because I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. So you gotta start off by getting 9% cash back, and that's tracked as nine Chase UR points, and you gotta learn how to do that first, because you gotta swim before you can walk. You gotta walk before you can swim before you can run or whatever. So if you got the Chase Freedom Flex card back when it was first released late last year and in the few months after that, you would have got an offer as part of the sign up bonus for 5% back on $12,000 worth of spending at grocery stores in the first year. Now this offer was later discontinued, but don't worry, there is a way that you can still get it. And we're gonna tell you about that a little bit later in the video, so stick around. This particular offer is very special though, because it stacks with the 5% quarterly categories on the Chase Freedom Flex. Now, if you don't know, the Chase Freedom Card and Freedom Flex Card both offer 5% cash back in rotating quarterly categories, on up to $1,500 in spending every quarter, okay? And these categories change. One quarter, it might be wholesale clubs or streaming services, and another quarter, it might be grocery stores, and it just happens to be grocery stores this quarter, okay? So if you go to a grocery store with your card, it actually stacks. And I went to a grocery store on July 1st and paid with my Freedom Flex purposefully just to check this out and make sure that it all stacks and you do get uh, both deals and indeed you do. So you can see here, this is my rewards earned with this transaction box. Okay, I spent $105.10, so I got 105.1 points uh, on that as part of the base spend. Okay, you get 1% for the base spend. Then the way the categories work is that they add 4% for the quarterly category, which makes up 5% when it's added to the base spend. The bonus also works that way, they add 4% to the base spend, which makes up the 5%. So you can see here, I've got 4% added for the quarter three bonus for grocery stores, and I've got 4% added for the one year grocery store bonus as well. And that's 420 points for each, 420. <laughs> and so that is a total of 945 points on just $100 worth of spend. Okay, so that's 9%, but where does the 13.5% that I clickbaited you with in the thumbnail come from? Well. That is the clever part. So if you have the Freedom Flex, which is the card that we've been talking about, and in addition to that, you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you can transfer the points over to the Sapphire Reserve where they take on greater value. 1.5 cents per point through the travel portal. But you might say, oh Ben, that is the travel portal. It's booking travel, that's not true cashback. True. But there is another way that you can use the points and that is the Chase Pay Yourself Back feature. Now, this was a feature that allows you to get a statement credit to pay off charges on the card using your points. Now, the value varies depending on which card you have, but on the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the points are valued at 1.5 cents per point, okay? And you can pay off charges in the following categories. Dining, grocery, home improvement, charities, you can pay the membership fee, and you can pay for vaccine rides with Lyft. You probably have to go through some extra steps with those vaccine rides, like sending your appointment or vaccine uh, just card or whatever. So what I could do is go to a restaurant using my Sapphire Reserve, pay for it, then come home, transfer some points over from my Freedom Flex, use those points at 1.5 cents per point to pay off that charge on my Sapphire Reserve, and that would then free up money in my bank account that I would have had to have used to pay that charge. So it does actually work like cashback, even though it's not 100% direct, it is actually still cashback. It is giving you that amount of money. So I count that as cashback. And then for even more value, if you transfer to airlines, so you transfer from the Freedom Flex to the Sapphire Reserve and then on to airline or hotel partners, uh, you could be getting two cents per point or more in value. So that would actually give you an 18% return on your original grocery spending on the Freedom Flex. But this was just an offer as part of the bonus when they first released the card a few months ago. Didn't they cancel it? Well, guess what? They bought it back. <laughs> 
So you can get this card, earn 9% or 13.5% or 18%, however you want to work it out, on $1,500 worth of grocery spending this quarter. And then after that, you'll still be earning 5% on $10,500 worth of grocery spending until your card's renewal date. And you'll also be getting $200 for spending $500 in the first three months as part of the sign-up bonus. So here's how much value you could get out of that. I worked it all out for you. So 9% on $1,500 works out at $135 back. 5% on $10,500 works out at $525 back. And the $200 bonus is obviously just worth $200. So the total would be $860 if you redeemed it as cash back. And that's incredible for a no annual fee card, but that's not the end of it. Let's look at the value you'd get if you redeemed it in the other two ways we showed you in this video. So transferring over to the Sapphire Reserve and then redeeming for either travel or for statement credits through the pay yourself back feature, 1.5 cents per point, you would get $1,290 worth of value. And if you transferred to airlines getting two cents per point, you would get $1,720 in value out of this sign-up bonus. So that's pretty freaking incredible, guys. I'm going to put the link for this card below if you want to learn more about it. It is currently one of my favorite cards, okay, for those quarterly categories. In addition to that, it also earns 5% on travel through the Chase Travel Portal and 3% at drugstores and on dining. And obviously, whatever points you're earning, you can transfer them to another Chase card, uh, like the Chase Sapphire Reserve, Chase Sapphire Preferred, Ink Preferred, and that's part of what we call the whole Chase Trifecta system, okay, which is a super popular thing in the credit card travel hacking game here in the US. Uh, we'll put this video up here uh, about the Chase Trifecta if you want to check it out, okay? I'll put that on screen and in a comment below in just a moment um, if you need to know more about the Chase Trifecta and how to redeem the points, transfer them through different cards, etc. So guys, what do you think about all this? Will you be using your Freedom Flex at grocery stores this quarter? I'd love to hear what you're doing. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to check out the Freedom Flex in the link below to learn more about it. Please subscribe if you're new and we will see you next time. Also, happy Independence Day for yesterday. I didn't upload a video yesterday, but I'm uploading it today. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye bye. Woo!